And we're back to learning mid journey. Let me show you how I was able to create all of these mockups. I want to make this one big video about it instead of making smaller ones about every subgenre because it's always the same principle. I use the subject, and then the keyword mockup, and that's already it. I've played around with more complex prompts, but most of them didn't really make the results better. It actually produced better results when I made the prompts more concise. Let me directly add the next one. First is the smartphone mock-up with a human hand. Second one is just a close-up. Third one I've even gotten rid of the background. So here is in hands, white to grayish background. Obviously check the fingers if there is one too many, but these one look fine. Here's the one without the human hand, perfectly usable, but check the buttons on the phone. Sometimes Midjourney adds a couple of buttons too many, so this has to be realistic. And here I've even gotten rid of the background and then it gives you a more detailed, more realistic one. So maybe you want this result, but mockup as the keyword and then the subject, in this case smartphone, is already enough. Maybe you want to change that to a tablet. In this case, I would recommend using iPad tablet or Apple iPad tablet because it likes to kind of mess around with the word tablet or it mistakes it. So if you just add tablet, let me share this as well. I'll make a tablet mock-up, white to gray, gradient background, close-up. And while it does, let me show you already the next category, which is the post frame mock-up. So yet again, keyword mock-up, and in front of it, just post a frame. And then you can add for example, a specific background, modern living room, or a specific color for the background. Let me make that a yellow background. And our tablet is done. And here you can see what I mean. Number two and three are not really electronic tablets anymore. So for my experience it's better to add Apple iPad tablet and then the mock-up part. Keep that in mind whenever you have a specific subject and it might be mistaken for something else. Make this specific subject as precise and as specific as possible. And here's our poster frame, a yellow background, totally fine. And here's the Apple iPad. Way better results than the ones that we had before. So as I've said, be more specific here. But yet again, only mock-up was needed as a keyword. Next category. Let me show you a good mock-up idea for a small company logo. And here in this case, I actually had to play a little bit around. I started with minimalistic outdoor wall sign mockup for logo. Not bad. But when you add the aspect ratio, I make it a bit wider. For example, use three by two. Results are better. But the best results that I got was when I went more specific 
with the environment. So instead of using minimalistic outdoor wall, I use minimalistic sign mockup for logo in front of a store. Once again, aspect ratio three by two. And this I think is the best, at least for the ones that I've prompted. So you could directly use this for a company to show what their logo is going to look like in a somewhat real life situation. Keyword yet again is mockup, but here I went a little bit more specific with the aspect ratio and the environment. Let's check the next category. Sometimes you have a specific product, for example, a coffee bag or packaging mockups for beauty products or cosmetic products. And this is why I said in the beginning of the video, and it's always the same principle. You use mockup as a keyword, be a little bit more specific when it comes to the product, and then you can, or you can even leave out tokens for the environment, the background, all of the details. In this case, coffee bag, good results. Minimal packaging is something that I found out. I really liked it when I added minimalism or minimalistic these keywords to the product mockups. Because you see below right here, label design mockup for cosmetic product. I didn't use minimalistic and it went a little bit more artistic. And that is fine when you already have your logo. But in this case, let's just assume you would pick number one. It's a little bit too greenish. And if you now have a bluish logo design, it might not fit the background. So using minimalism gives you this typical white, light brownish, light grayish color palette. So if I add this here, you can see this would fit for almost any logo color. Let us check the next category. I started out with symbol prompts, empty white billboard, and outdoor ad mockup. The outdoor ad mockup isn't bad, but empty white billboard, I didn't like it at all. In this case, maybe number three could be usable, but the other ones, not really. For both, I found out that it's better to add a blurry background. This is going to give you more interesting results when it comes to the backgrounds. But for the billboard, you have to be careful because some of the results, they're unrealistic. So the billboard is placed above a street or in midair or something. You can see it right here. But the outdoor ad mockup, almost all the time, adding blurry background gave me perfect results. So you could use almost every of these generations. Let us check an entire corporate identity mockup. Here I've used close up as a little addition to our main keyword mockup. When you have a specific product for a corporate identity mine, for example, a mug, then just make it mug mock-up. In the case of use minimalism again.
And here I found out if you add close up or not, doesn't really play a role. Let me do it on the compared results. Not a huge difference. Finally, we have t shirt mock ups. Let us start with white t shirt mock up. And that is already it. But you can even add models by adding shirt worn by a beautiful woman on the street, for example. And you can be very specific when it comes to this stuff. Number one is you can change the fashion, the clothes. If you want to, for example, have a long sleeve t-shirt, a sweater, just change t-shirt to sweater and long sleeve t-shirt. Perfect mock-ups here, but be careful when you have humans in your mock-ups, you definitely want to check the fingers. And here sometimes that happens, it's now in front of a desert, doesn't really work. But 90% of the results that I've had so far using this simple prompt, they were usable. And now let us just use this basic prompt and we can twist and tweak it. We we'll use white t-shirt mock-up, I'll make it a sweater. Shirt worn by not a woman, we want to have a man. And I want the man to be dark skinned and plus sized. And he shouldn't be on the street, instead we want to have a yellow background. Yet again, our basic prompt is still subject and then mock-up. And the rest is for adjusting the environment and the background. And here we are now, it messed up number two. We now have a yellow sweater, but the other ones are fine. And it is a plus size dark skinned man. So you have lots of freedom to adjust the environment, but always use subject and mock up and you're good to go. I hope these tips were helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.